Meteorologist Chad Evans. Weather from where you live. Well, I'm Doppler 18 is clear right now. It's going to stay that way throughout the overnight hours. Though there are a few little thunder showers down near the I-70 corridor, about right here. That's where the actual surface cold front is at. That's what came through overnight last night. But it will come back north as a warm front. Could bring some storm chances and certainly a lot of heat later on in the week. A few of these high, thin, seriform clouds will drift in from the northwest this evening, so a partly cloudy evening on tap, but these will move up to the east, and then skies will turn mostly clear. Then, this front, which is stalled out of the south, will, be, will begin to move back north as a warm front. That's going to do two things. It's going to pop another cluster of severe storms to our west tonight. And that will dive southeast and stay away from us. But it may also pop another cluster of strong to severe storms about right here tomorrow night. And there's some questions as to just how much that complex is going to affect us. Well, let's start with tomorrow first. 85, partly cloudy. Severe clusters staying to our west and then weakening. Again, these storm clusters are right on the edge of a heat wave. Ring of fire pattern. This is the big heat wave, and they're all right on the edge of it. And then for tomorrow night, a, a big complex of storms is going to form about right here. Big question is, does it drift south and miss us, or does it move right for us and affect us late tomorrow night and into Friday? That's the big if right now, and we'll certainly sort through all the details of a much clearer idea tonight as well as tomorrow, but I think any storm chance will begin to pull away by later Friday afternoon, and then the heat is on, 91 for Saturday, and low to perhaps mid 90 Sunday, Monday, even into Tuesday before this cold front off to the west moves through with some scattered storms early on Wednesday, and that will end the heat wave. So tonight, mostly clear, cool, down to 58 degrees. Tomorrow, about 85, mostly sunny, still low humidity, though. But it starts to really get hot and humid, especially as the warm front and any storm chances move through Thursday night into at least part of Friday. And then several days of 90s, that would qualify as a heat wave, 90 to 95 Saturday through Tuesday before the front comes through what appears to be early on Wednesday morning. And if that is indeed the case, it would tend to diminish a severe threat because the storms will be going through at the coolest time of day. We're going to watch that closely and uh, have brand new forecasting information coming up tonight at 11 o'clock. And I know you'll be watching out for us, Chad. As always. Thanks. Hey, you finally done.